There was a young businessman, he's sitting on a park bench, and he's got his head in his hands, and he's, he's shaking his head, and, and he's just miserable. And, and out of nowhere, an old man comes up, and the old man says, hey, you know, you look, is everything okay? You, you look like you're having some trouble. And he says, no, it's not okay. I'm, we're, about to, you know, we're about to go bankrupt. My business is about to go under. I don't know what to do. I think it's the end for me. I think it's over. And the old man's standing there. He thinks about it for a little bit. So he pulls out, a, out of his pocket, he pulls out a checkbook. He signs a check and he gives it to the young man. He says, invest this money into your business. And I'm, you look like a smart man. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Uh, in a year's time, I'm sure you'll get your business kicked off the ground. Everything will go smooth again. And you can come back and meet me at this park bench in a year. You can repay me my money. And the young man's walking away and he's got this check. And his check is signed for $500,000 by John Rockefeller, the richest man in the world at that time. And he can't believe it. He got a check from John Rockefeller. So he's walking away and he thinks to himself, OK, I've had these ideas and strategies that I've wanted to implement into my business. But I was, always, I was too afraid. We were about to go bankrupt. I, you know, I, I was too afraid to do it. But now that I've got the safety net, I got this check, let me try it. Let me, let me implement some of these ideas that I've already had. And sure enough, he, doesn't, he puts the check in a safe. He doesn't put it in the bank. He implements these ideas and strategies that he already has. And sure enough, his business kicks off the ground. And a year, a year goes by, and everything's going well. He never had to touch the check. So he grabs that same check at the end of the year. He goes back to that park bench. Sure enough, the old man meets him. And he says, Mr. Rockefeller, thank you so much. You saved my business. I didn't even have to touch the money. This is the same check that you gave me, same check. Just knowing that I had that safety net changed everything for me, allowed me to believe in my ideas. And out of nowhere, a nurse comes running. And she grabs the old man, and she turns to the young man. And she says, sir, I'm so sorry. I hope he's not bothering you. He ran away again. He's been telling people he's John Rockefeller and signing fake checks. <laughs> the young man never had the, a real check in his, in his safe, right? But just thinking that he did allowed him to bet on himself. Some of us, we don't need more money. We don't need a new idea. and We don't need another partnership. Some of us, we have everything that we need inside of us already. We have the ideas, the strategies. We just are too afraid to bet on ourselves and actually take a risk and do something with it. You must choose to believe. That's what this principle is about. Choose to believe in the things that you already have. You might not have the opportunities that you need to get you to where you want to go, but I promise you, you have enough to get you started. And if you bet on yourself and you take a risk and you invest into what you already have right now, you choose to believe in the ideas, the strategies that you have right now, you trust yourself, I promise you, doors will start opening for you.